Right, what is going on everybody? This is TGA. We're about with Audit in Yorkshire down there. Uh, still in Gibraltar. Coming up to the Royal Gibraltar Police traffic depot, I believe it is. Yeah, they've got the badge on there, look. I believe it's the uh, traffic unit for the RGP. So this is where a lot of the bikes were coming out of that we've seen passing. Let's see what the sign says. Roads Policing. Royal Gibraltar Police, Roads Policing Unit. All inquiries in relation to traffic fixed notices, please email roadspolicing at royalgib.police.gi. Um, no unauthorised entry. To arrange an appointment with a traffic officer, please use above email address. No appointments will be authorised without prior approval. As you can see, it's a big RGP van in there. These are all the, this is the traffic base for the Royal Gibraltar Police, Roads Policing Unit. And all inquiries and requests for cancellation of parking tickets to be dealt with by Gibraltar Car Parks, GPMSL, who we filmed earlier. Absolutely, and they were shocking, they? their, their approach was shocking, honestly. There we go, we've got that van. So I haven't seen anyone coming in or out yet. And it's rather quiet at the minute. CCTV cameras about on it. The Rose Policing Unit for the Royal Gibraltar Police. Hi oh, there. Oh. So you can see CCTV signs up there. Focus security. Solutions. So yeah, no bikes or anything have come out yet. There we go. So it's definitely Royal Gibraltar Police property. <clears throat> this one. Don't really see a lot from here. Let's see if we got any bikes or anything coming out. All I can see is that that van in there. So we might we might see the gates open. We might see a bike come out. She even says police on the bin. Look. So this is one of their properties. It's not on the map though. This. And the building next to it looks all boarded up, so I don't even know what. I think it's just the garages and things that they use. Yes. Roads Policing Unit. Royal Gibraltar Police. Surely I must be on camera, you think. And we did see we did see bikes and I'm pretty sure this is where they came from. The RGP bikes. So we can have a little walk up this way. We can see what we can see. It looks like to be a a hat or something in there. I think they've all gone out for the day. It's like a security hat by there. So they've obviously netted all this off because they don't want people seeing in there. But yeah. What a place. <laughs> and there's no one about. And there's some other like works vans and stuff in there. The hat actually looks like it's unmanned. So Got sirens coming in the distance. I don't know whether they're coming here. So it's yeah, it seems rather quiet at the minute. Traffic unit. 
Don't think the bikes that are parked down here have anything to do with the Royal Gibraltar Police. This is one of their main sites. Might as well. What's I'm surprised. Place? So this is the roads policing unit traffic. Oh, roads policing unit. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. We'll get that on video. So there's a van in. You can see a van through there, but then I think this is where the bikes have been coming from because the bike there's no bikes parked up at Newmall House. Right. So yeah, we're so. just at the roads policing unit, guys, in Gibraltar, where the traffic cops are. Uh, right. We need to find the shop because I'm going to buy a Gibraltar SIM card and yeah. uh, see if it'll let me activate a scooter that way. Because hmm. it's Possibly. not it's just not working. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what the problem is. So you can, you can see a bit of it. Oh there's a vehicle coming out. There's a bike coming out. There we go. Traffic officer. Awesome. The gate's open at the minute now. So you can see like literally right inside the yard now. There's a few vehicles in there. There's a van in there. Gate's still not shut. So yeah, there's no one in the little office there. As you can see, there's some bikes there you can see. I think they're police bikes. Yeah. So there's a couple of bikes. Can they see who I told you this is where the bikes were coming from? Good thing about cropping. Mm. Yeah, it's a dead end down here. I believe so. I don't know if you can walk around. Yeah, is it a dead end? Hmm. I'm guessing this is the traffic base. Just doing a bit of filming of it. There's another one. There's another one coming. Another bike coming. I can get my phone ready for this one. Get a picture. Get the bike coming out. I get a picture on my phone as well as recording. Hey, look at that. Hey, yeah, I'm just taking some pictures. What's up, buddy? I'm just taking some pictures, uh, okay. Inspector. You are right? Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures of your bike. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'm, I couldn't get a talk, could I? <laughs> you are. Oh, we're just all it is. We just uh, operate social media channels, and we film police. That's what oh, we do. We're kind of police oh, enthusiasts, really. Can I get a picture? Sorry, buddy. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I get a picture of your bike? You want your bike? Is yeah. that okay? <laughs> Thanks, Inspector. So I'm TGA. Uh, what's, what's your numbers, Inspector? What's my number? Oh, Thirteen. I am. Thirteen. Oh, what do you mean numbers? Call it a call number. Yeah. Turn it off. I'm absolutely deaf. <laughs> That's all right. Say that again. Sorry. What's, your, what's your shoulder number? 13. 13? Oh, ah, you. right, thank you. Lucky number. Yeah, lucky number 13, well. yeah. Acting at the moment, chat. Uh, Acting uh, inspector, right. <coughs> You've got no a nice, uh, nice British accent. Are you from the UK? I am indeed. Where, whereabouts, if you don't mind? Thames Valley. Thames Valley? Thames Valley. I'm yeah. from Berkshire, so Thames Valley in Hampshire. So. Did you used to be part of Thames Valley Police? Yes, and Hampshire. Ah, brilliant. part of the Joint Operations Unit. Obvi right, obviously, it's better when we speak to British people because they understand a bit more about what we're doing. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, we're YouTubers in the UK, okay. so we go around, we film interesting places, uh, police stations, prisons, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know what auditors are, don't you? I do, yes. Yeah. Essentially, that's what we're doing. Uh, but we're not bad auditors, we're good auditors, so we don't deliberately go and wind people up. Um, what we do is we kind of like let the bad reactions come to us. So we'll do something we're perfectly allowed to do, which is film in public. Absolutely. And nine times out of ten, people come and start giving us grief, um, which which is fine. That's not our fault. We're doing what we're legally mm. allowed to do. Um, 
the police are catching on a little bit more in the UK now because obviously it's been got people have been doing it for years and I don't know if you've heard of like audit in Britain with DJ audits mm -hmm. have you heard of DJ audits he's on TikTok and he's YouTube actually, all the time. yeah he's yeah. a friend of mine um, you know the, the guy basically he, he mainly focuses on uh, industrial estates filming private businesses but he always does it from a public place and he always gets you know people coming out and harassing him and threatening him um, and it makes some very good money, you know, on YouTube by doing that. Um, a lot of us do, which is why I, I do it as well. I, I make, uh, obviously, ad, you know, revenue off the ads and stuff. Um, but a lot of people think, ah, oh, you know, you're just a wind-up merchant. You're just out to, to cause grief and, and ruin people's days. And, and that's not why we, it's not why we do it. I mean, we've, we've just been up at New Mall House, yeah, and, if, and before we went, we went into the front counter, but before we did, we yeah, turned we the cameras could. off because we yeah. saw there's a sign off. in there, so you can't film inside. You sometimes might just get questioned, Jim, because obviously, opposite New Mall, we've got the military establishment, so sometimes oh, we've been past when we that, see mate. people with cameras, we just come out and have a quick chat with them. Yeah, we've been right, past that. The defence police, the sergeant, were uh, um, very concerned about what we were doing. He wanted just details. I said, well, I'm not giving you mine because I haven't actually taken any pictures and I've not filmed. Mm. I mean, someone came out and went, Sarge, Sarge, he's got a camera on his glasses. So I just went, mm, no SD card in it, mate. <laughs> yeah, they're not even recording. They're switched on. <laughs> those ones. Yeah, you need an SD card for them to work, for them to record. But you can record on them, but I'm just using them as sunglasses. It's very shit at all, buddy. What brings um, you to jib, then? Sorry? What brings you to jib? Ah, so last year we did Ireland. Hmm. We're doing Gibraltar this year. Um, try and get away every year. Obviously, Gibraltar's a British territory, mm -hmm. so obviously we're British, so we thought we'll come down here for experience. Hmm. Brought it's the weather with you. Yeah, I don't think we have. <laughs> no, trust me, mate, this is, this is the way it's usually down here. We've got bad weather for the whole week, which yeah. is a bit mm. of a rarity. Yeah. It was bad yesterday, it was, it was so kind of torrential. Of We've got gale force winds coming in tonight. Yeah, we've come at a bad time, haven't we? It's six <laughs> six o'clock, isn't it? The the, the weather's too bad. Come at a, come at yeah. a very bad time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah we're uh, planning on uh, doing New York or Canada next Amazing. year. So he, I I I'm wanting New York. He's more thinking Canada now. So like Toronto, I'm, that sort of area. I'm happy either way. You know, Toronto, <laughs> Canada, America. Well, saying that, we haven't been to the Channel Islands yet, so... No, no. <laughs> but there's a, a lot of Europeans down here on vacation. What, here? Yeah. Easy to get to, we've got a main airport, that's why. Yeah, mm. we were talking to uh, some Swedes last night, weren't we? Yeah, we were, yeah. We were having a drink with a couple of, a couple of people from uh, Sweden. They've come down here, and... Uh, yeah, we're very good. There's a, there's a mixture of uh, different heritages. We've got a lot of cultures here, but we're very culture friendly. We have very yeah. few issues with any sort of culture here. We all get on very, very well with each other. It's yeah. such a small community, so. Well, I mean, yeah. so far I've, I've, I've been speaking to Spanish people, uh, Gibraltarians, Moroccans, uh, Sweden. Colleagues are coming Moroccans. through, I think. <laughs> um, even a couple of Hindus, they were very nice. Yeah. Good inspector as well. Oh, two inspectors. There's another inspector, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah that's a nice van, that is as well. I think one that just up at New Mall House. I think that's come from. I think that's come from uh, New Mall House. I think headquarters. Oh, we get a picture of the, the bike and the van at one. That's a good shot. There we go. That's a nice shot. <coughs> the van and the bike. We'll go in a minute anyway, I just want to ask you a question. Oh, Actually, I want to ask about the re registrations. How do they, the, the numeric coding and things? Oh, I've just, I just noticed he's got the um, th Gibraltar thin blue line on his, on his helmet. Yeah, we've seen that, yeah. So, just before I go, yes, I want to ask you a question. Oh, yeah. So, the happy... Ah, oh, don't give me anything, he's an old enough. <laughs> oh, that's it, yeah. What, what, I love the police down here. I love the police down here, they're great. Um, me and the police don't get on right well in England, but great down here. Um, so, the e-scooters. Yes. Happy, I've downloaded the app, yes. and all it keeps saying, when I try and sign up, is you have reached your request limit, please try again later. You've done what, sorry? Uh, so, when I try and sign up to the app, yeah. They 
happy poppy stuff yeah yeah when i click red uh, when i click um join uh register yeah. that's all it's saying any any is it because no it's idea. a uk sim card i think uh, it shouldn't be no because that's, they're, they're designed for tourists right hmm. have you got an issue with it at all uh, I, I haven't tried it myself. I just didn't want to work in for him. I didn't try it. On the roads only and your helmet on. Most yeah. Most destinised areas. Yeah, boy, it's a £300 fine. Yeah. They already told us that up at Newmall House. Hey. One of the, there was a cop up there who was Welsh and he was he was saying it's, it's a, you get a £300 fine for riding without a helmet or riding yeah, in pedestrianised areas. Drive either. Also, I was wondering about the registrations in Gibraltar. You know where we've got like, you'd have like CA23 or something like that uh -huh. or. Well, how do they code okay, it with the so dates? G stands for Jib, mm -hmm. Gibraltar. The number is a numerical number that's been running, and then the I think mine's what on a. What's, mm. what's the back on that one? So that one's that's uh, yeah G four nine one zero F. F. So Fox Trot, so yeah. So she's if we go basically alphabetical <coughs> after that. Right. So I think we're on G now. So then when H arrives, it goes from I think it's a thousand and goes all the way through again, and then we have the private number plates which don't have the. Um, yeah, letter on the end of it, so is, which you pay your extra for. Is the let is the letter? Does that represent the year? The age. Well, it doesn't re so. represent a year. It just represents an age. The thing is, is that Jib we export an awful lot of vehicles here. Right. Um, in fact, I think the top five out of the top ten most expensive cars in the world originally were re registered here before going out. Oh. So we have a very high turnover of vehicles coming through. So cool. hence the reason why we do it like that. Oh, it doesn't necessarily show the age, but. As a local, you know, C plates, <coughs> you're probably looking at now sort of 2014s, 2015s. Mm, so it's roughly, it gives you a rough guide. Maybe a bit, young, maybe a bit older, yeah. actually, could even be around the Yeah, so it gives you a rough idea where else they are. Oh, yeah, the, police, uh, the police are a little bit, seem to be better over here when it comes to people filming. I think it's chap, I'll be honest with you. Working in England, Mark, I did for 14 years. A lot of people have got sometimes an alternative motive when you wear a uniform. Um, mm. Right. They either want to... Hostile reconnaissance. So. They, they either want to stab you, run you over, hit you, or get away from you in some forms. Mm. Especially in the departments I used to work in. Yeah, but... Over here... You've got to ask the question, why? It's a very different, very different society over here to over there. We're very... Bearing in mind, we've got, what, 35,000 people here. Yeah. And we all know each other in some respects, because you know, it's such a small, tight community. Yeah, yeah. I think there's just an awful lot more respect and tolerance within it. Yeah. Because definitely. if they do, someone does something wrong here, the whole entire country knows about it. Your family knows about <laughs> yeah. it. So people yeah. don't like getting into this. We have problems over here. We've got a very low level crime. We have extremely highly organised crime. But that middle crime in the UK that you get with your GBHs and your rapes and everything, we just very, very rarely get because we have a very tolerant society. Yeah. It's, it's mm. a very different way of life over here. That's good. Yeah, that's that is good. Mm. Well, we've come over here with the intention to um, enjoy the culture, um, enjoy meeting new people, um, and, and to film and to make some vlogs and to, to let people around the world, and especially we have a lot of subscribers in the UK, uh, to see what we're seeing, because, um, you know, people love seeing different things, and that's why we do it a lot. And it's quite interesting to hear things like that, like yeah. how policing works in Gibraltar, how, the cri how crime is differs to, to the to, UK. To, 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 as well. able to wind anyone yeah. up or... You see, we live within our community. Yeah. Mm. We have a very small contingency that live over in Spain, but, you know, when I worked in... In terms of Ali, I live 30 miles away from where I policed. Here... I can arrest someone and they live next door to me. So we, we have a very mm. different sort of society, a very tolerant society. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, it's good to know, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, you've got yourselves over here. I'm glad you're not, not you know, you've been exactly here. Back here. Sorry? Uh, we are, we're going to get the cable car up, is what we're thinking. Yeah, we are going to do Because that's, that's a different we're do experience. It, I'll do it today, because so. I think we're in for some bad weather from tonight onwards. Right. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do it today. We'll it's, been, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, uh, take it easy, Inspector. There we go. So that's um, that's the traffic base. By far, yeah. officially, the nicest inspector I've ever spoke to. Yeah, and he's a, originally from Thames Valley Police, and they've well, not to be fair, I've had some good interactions with Thames Valley Police, but I've had some bad ones as well. Yeah, so. one, one of the nicest uh, yeah. inspectors I've spoken to, unlike some I can mention. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Inspector Dyson. <laughs> 
So yeah, basically everybody, that's been the um, Rose Policing Unit for the Royal Gibraltar Police. Uh, we had a chat with an inspector who was originally from Thames Valley Police. Brilliant chap in the end. Um, so thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also hit that bell button to stay notified. And we'll see you all in the next one. TGA out. There we go. Royal Gibraltar Police traffic. Roads policing. Got the police officers down there. Bike there. Down there for some reason. Why are there defence police down there? That's what I'm wondering.